Beer. Always a lot going on. Over on West End, a couple miles away, Memorial Gym, the historic home of the Vanderbilt Commodores. Vanderbilt hosting Liberty. Maddie at 6-2 and two for Jerry Stackhouse and Richie McKay's team, a perfect 11-0 on the season. Kevin Ingham alongside Ben Standing. He's second in the country as we saw a moment ago and three-pointers per game at 4.3. So it is Cleavon Brown and Scotty James to get us started. Vanderbilt will have the first possession of the night. As we settle in here, the Commodores having won four out of five. Mentioned that 90 to 76 win over Buffalo last Tuesday. Ala Brown trying to just knock it home. Liberty comes up with a loose ball, and here is the group that will start for Richie McKay. It is a veteran team. Caleb Holmesley, preseason player of the year in the Atlantic Sun, 11 points, five rebounds, and two assists. We saw Scotty James in that opening tip. All conference as well, 10 points and seven boards per game. A guy who can be just a rebounding machine. Powerful dude. Down to six to shoot. Pacheco Ortiz. Holmesley. They got the shot away in time. Three down. Scotty Pippen Jr., the outstanding freshman, 11.3 rebounds and four assists per game. 22 assists in his last four games. And Cleavon Brown, we saw. A moment ago, the senior, 14 points and eight rebounds. Knows he's got to add that piece to his game with him shooting the ball as well as he does. Liberty features that pack line defense that Coach McKay learned during his time at Virginia. Three-pointer up and in. Make a job of looking off the defense before just going up and taking the shot. He shot it at a 44% clip on the season. First bucket of this game. Max Evans lost his footing. Fives to Sue, rings the bell from three. Floor. Seven foot two out there getting some rebounds. Cuffy drills it from long distance the first little while. They've had some good work, some good individual work, and kind of making their way around the exam schedule, which is pretty rigorous. Goes Evans on a drive at the bucket. Count it and one. Done for behind the arc. He's a really good player He's on the floor, can stretch it, can knock down three-point shots. It usually bodes well for the team as a whole. Pacheco Ortiz got an open look, couldn't make it. So subs for both sides. The next stoppage, Neesmith. He's so tough, even if it's contested, he can have the space he needs in order to knock down a three-point basket. More instant offense in the game for Vanderbilt as Saban Lee checks in. He is the SEC's player of the week after... Scored 25 against Buffalo. Inside to Brown. Cut. In the corner, they stayed tight to him with their extra big. He was able to find his teammate. They force a the turnover. There's Lee. That's what he does best. Get Sue has got to know his role. He's 6'8", six, 6'9", six, got a long body. He gets by his defender. He's got to be on top of his head right there with the dunk. Baxter Bell all the way in for a bucket. Bangs it off the window. They are well schooled. They run their stuff. Get some good looks. They're going to run their offense and they're going to make sure that at the end of the day, you're going to have corner. Vanderbilt getting turnover after turnover early. That's already five for Liberty. That one didn't. Liberty brings in Shiloh Robinson off its bench. Another 11 opening half. Vanderbilt on a 12 to 2 run. Lee trying to find Neesmith. Robinson steps in. Jordan's got to get to the point where he's shooting those shots. Whether he thinks he's open or not, he's got to shoot that basketball. Obina lost the handle. Neesmith was right there. Tough win as he forces it up and in. The average 72 per game hold opponents to 49 per contest. 82 and 71 are those numbers for Vanderbilt coming in. Arms leashed up action right here. Nice little turnaround off the one of the best at it. For this Liberty team. Waters holding a seven point advantage. Got eight and a half to play, half number one. So contact. Pacheco Ortiz, another of those really experienced guys. It's the ball. Uh, Tony Bennett's team turned that outstanding defense. That Pack line into national championship just a season ago. You know, Kevin, the pace of play also uh, weighs in, in in that as well because you're not having as many possessions 
if you are playing a much faster basket each for Liberty. It's a three point game. Scotty James is a really good player. A redshirt senior for this team and has seen a lot of basketball and seen a lot of defenses as well. Does a really good job for this Liberty team. Right. Decides to put it on the deck. Couldn't get the row, will get the free throw. Himself with this Commodore team and possesses Aaron Neesmith. That'll be one heck of a. Commodore's lead by four, six and a half to go. Half number one. Well, the point of Coach Stackhouse bringing the pressure right there is really get them outside of their offense, but doesn't work. Senior Caleb Holmesley, North Carolina native, drills a three. Yeah, Liberty back within one. Vanderbilt's led most of the half. Commodores, though, without a bucket in about three minutes. Richie McKay applauding his team's defense. Pippen from the corner. Yes. Scotty Pippen. Team. One out of two tonight. Nine of 22 on the season for Pippen Jr. A launch and a hit. Darius McGee. Good possession right there. Did a good job of splitting the ball screen. Put it in the shooting pocket for Dylan DeSue. You got to expect him to make that. James a kick out. Holmesley again. Good again. Goodness. Three for Holmesley on the night. Two for McGee and one for Cuffey. Been able to drive and kick and find the open shooters. Gotten some good looks. A little too far out that time. Floater with the left. That's a soft finish for Holmesley. James, a really good player, has been doing it for a long time. Got to expect him to continue. Over the top. Pacheco Ortiz. Got the whistle. There, the. Went to the tournament and beat Mississippi State. And making the right decisions when it's time to. And this Liberty team has done exactly that. DeSue tries this side. Good result from three. That's usually means that your fours and your fives are going to have a little bit of space. If they know what to do with it, they'll have some success. Ended a drop for Vanderbilt of almost three minutes. They get a turnover. DeSue put it on the deck this time. Commodore's reset. We should have shot it again. Those are some of the things that as they continue to get older and you know, experience more basketball, they'll begin to get comfortable taking those shots. Neesmith, advantage. I like the fact that Aaron's putting the ball on the floor, trying to make some things happen and really making his team better. When he's putting the ball on the floor, then even if he doesn't score, it makes the defense have to respect the fact that he can get to the basket. That keeps him a little more honest. Driving a kick out by McGee. Down to five to shoot. Pacheco Ortiz. Foul on the. Into McGee. Pacheco Ortiz. The pull up. James didn't get the rebound, but he kept it alive. He's active. He plays the right way. Understands timing. McGee tries to float it home off the window. Yes. He uses his body very well, particularly on rebounds. Pippen weaving through Lee for the tie. Lee making things happen. Each team has made five from behind the arc tonight. We're even at 27. Under a minute. Expected a good matchup tonight. Been back and forth in this first half. And a turnover. Good pressure. Tonight, you got to show up ready to play. Got to love it. Yeah, it's going to be a fun ride in the conference. Things get started in early January. Neesmith drills a three to push Panter to move back in front. Make it a 9-0 run over just over two minutes. And Holmesley turned it over. Vanderbilt will get one last chance. Half turnovers for a Liberty team. And only averages 10 per game. Vanderbilt can get something done in these final seconds. Lob for Lee. What a way to end the half. Saban Lee, Phoenix, Arizona. Mama.
There goes that man. He climbed. Scotty James, big powerful body. Contested in the paint. Brown stood his ground and Vanderbilt got to stop. Good defense right there by Cleavon Brown. Defending without fouling. Scotty James is a really good player, so to be able to do that is really what the Commodores need. What a look by Pippen to get it to Brown. The and got a friendly. Wait a minute, half number two. A very experienced and disciplined Liberty team. Drive by Holmesley. High up off the window. Caleb Holmesley has a dozen. Crossover, you stop him on that side. They go to the other side of the floor and give you a little bit of a a little bit of a floater off the glass. Powers trying to make him work around the perimeter. There's a drive and another rebounds. Well executed inbounds play as they go to Cuffy for two and all run by Vanderbilt that wrapped around halftime. Mayo Baxter Bell has checked in. A couple big bodies there. Brown got the best of the first shot attempt. Drops into free throws. Boy, it turned the corner. Cuffy all the way in. Couldn't finish at the rim. He was on his left. Neesmith, coast to coast. You still got to defend. He's got to see how that, that gap is closed from even like good mid major teams to but the high majors. Missed opportunity right there with a mismatch. Brown doubled. Wright digs out the pass. Fires that one at the rim. Block is the call. Out and it's really done a great job. Both times to the basketball team. Liberty turned it over 10 times in the first half, but none so far here in the second. Baxter Bell against Moyer. Cuffy inside the arc. Baxter Bell got the stick back. But can it just use his body to get people out of the way? Kevin, let me tell you something. I played with Glenn Davis during the summertime with the AAU team uh -huh. in high school. And it was the easiest basketball up. Two makes here. Able to knock down threes, knock down free throws. It's a really, really big advantage. Naismith couldn't hit the contested three. Vanderbilt gets it back for a right look that's off target. Look at Moyer. Good work to get the rebound and earn the trip to the stripe. Half dozen and has only started the year against Southeast. Short of these guards to split. Because anytime Saban Lee splits a basketball ball screen, all bad for the defense. Nine turnovers for Vanderbilt on the night. You see the second half shooting numbers. Holmesley drops it in. Coming up from Stackhouse. Pacheco Ortiz drives in and dishes. Baxter Bell lost it, but Pacheco Ortiz right there for the cleanup. Here the Commodores run there, out of bounds play, making sure they keep high. Neesmith says, I want to jumpstart this offense. Oh, my. Vanderbilt's second bucket of the second half, an emphatic buzz in this place. Brown doubled, gets it back out. Pippen. Well, and the other thing that Liberty is doing, even on turnovers, they're doing a good job of making sure that they get back on defense. Neesmith bounces it home this time. You try to protect your home floors, Neesmith. Well, you've seen it for years, the crowd in this place, giving Commodore teams a lift. An experienced Liberty team coming in unbeaten. Baxter Bell 
Use every trick in the bag to get that one in off. The Using his big body as well. Unfortunately, wasn't able to deter that make right there. From the corner to Sue, short on the three. Vanderbilt gets another attempt. Lee gonna drive and lays it home. Saving Lee, second to none. Back to a one point advantage. Baxter Bell has been a handful. He scored 10 eat all day. Liberty team, really good balance. You don't have anybody that averages 20 a game or anything like that. You have lots of guys who can score. Aaron Neesmith. Baxter Bell for the flush. He's taking over this game. All you can eat buffet. <laughs> I'm still eating in this gym. Have been hard to come by on this end for Vanderbilt in the half of Saban Lee. Half. Saban Lee. Lee two for two. The press. Neesmith giving chase against McGee. An interesting game. We had seven ties, eight lead changes. Been back and forth in this recent stretch. Vanderbilt went a long time without a basket. Strong drive by Holmesley, stronger. Good job of making sure that every shot at the basket goes over some stretched out arms. Lee. Didn't get it to go. Expecting the foul to be called on that last possession. As basketball goes, at the end of the day, the referees can't call everything, and they're not going to call everything. To Sue, some good defensive work on the drive by Holmesley. Neesmith. Neesmith is a handful to, to guard on all of that. He has been rock solid. And it will back to the lead by one. 350 to play. Mayo Baxter Bell has been outstanding for Liberty in this half. Three ball off the side of the backboard for Cuffey. Very few forced three point attempts that this Liberty team is has done today. Yeah, so much of what they've done has been in rhythm and just right in the framework of their offense. Neesmith popped out. McGee grabs a miss. Mr. Doug Stanton, our whole SEC Network crew, we expected a good game. Liberty has a score more to its liking. Down the middle, Cuffey drops it in. Vanderbilt only four out of 20. Went through a stretch of Ten misses in a row, 0 for 10 from three in this half. Lee turned away. Fatty resets. Brown up top. Long two. Lee, another great athlete, kept it alive, and Vanderbilt gets another try. Saving Lee using the athleticism to get the Commodores another possession. Game. Final minutes. Pippen steps back and fires. Chase down Pippen Jr. Very well capable of knocking down that three point basket. As he continues to progress in his career, he's going to get better and better. Reverse layup. Cuffey. Door cuts from this Liberty team. They're so well coached and run such great offense. Seem to try a whole lot of that. Here's Neesmith straight away. You want Aaron Neesmith taken. He's made him before. And he had some space. Could knock it down. Holmesley threw it away. And the foul goes against McGee trying to deal with Pippen coming down the floor. Time Pippen's been up there tonight. 68%. He's in the black and gold. One out of two, DeSue rising up. See if Vanderbilt can make something happen. Liberty turned it over ten times in the first half, but only three since then. Unbeaten at 11-0, Vanderbilt at 6-2.
Baxter Bell back up top. Pacheco Ortiz gets it back with five on the shot clock. With two. Gigantic bucket by Georgie Pacheco Ortiz as the buzzer sounded. Not fake getting the young fella off his feet. Giving you a little touch off the glass. Commodores have to have offense now as we're inside. About the final half minute. Desu on a drive. Pile up on the floor. Cleavon Brown is injured. Commodores are accustomed to having multiple guys that are in double figures tonight. Six seconds. They need two threes regardless in order to win the game. We're in a pressure situation right there. Two easy makes. Brown gathers, came up short, two free throws on the foul by Brown short. Short on both. McGee gets to it. Baxter Bell will look to put an exclamation point on it for Liberty. I have to earn it at the free throw line, which was been eating at the buffet. <laughs> All Outstanding, especially in the second half. This will be the second home loss of the season for Vanderbilt. Lee floats and hits. Good shot by saving Lee. Baxter Bell will get one more chance. With Dessert came. He said he wanted that too. Yeah. Was a kid, I'd take me two cookies to go. <laughs> I might have done that before myself. Final seconds. Liberty going to stay unbeaten. Lee launches at the buzzer. Not enough of those tonight for Vanderbilt. 61 56, the final score. Liberty goes to 12 0 on the season. One of the five unbeatens in the country. Vanderbilt is 6 and 3 with a loss. They'll head out to Phoenix to play Loyola Chicago on Wednesday. Just not enough offense in the second half, Shane, for Vanderbilt. Six out of 26. That three at the buzzer was the only one they made after the break. Well, the hat has to go off to Liberty. They came in and defended at a high level, they made some halftime.